Our Savannah Levens is there on the scene, but that truck fully involved. Looks like they caught this just as it happened. Truck running into a tree, catching on fire. Obviously, the conditions on this road are uh, not normal. They're wet because of all of the rain that we've experienced, so we don't know if that's a contributing factor of this, but our crew is there on the scene. Savannah, can you still hear us? No, no, I'm wearing my belt. So there was no one else in there, right? Okay, I don't that think she can hear us. Okay. Sounds like she's talking to her crew out there on the scene, trying to determine if there was anyone else in that pickup. Uh, you can see firefighters there working on it right now. It looks like they've closed down the road behind that. They're probably working to close down both sections of this street as they put out that fire. Uh, but first responders on the scene behind that camera, which you cannot see at this point, uh, working on tending to the person who was probably who we presume behind the wheel of that pickup. I believe Savannah is on a slight delay here, but um, our producer are telling us that she can hear us now. So Savannah, just to clarify, did you see this accident happen? Did he hydroplane? And I also heard you say earlier that you spoke with him. So what did he what did he say to you? What did he say to you? Well, it does look like it might have been a hydroplane situation. We came up literally probably moments after uh, this truck ran into this tree and we saw people pulling a man out. So we pulled over to the side and that's when the truck caught fire. You can see, thank goodness, fire crews just got here. I mean, in seconds, great response time. They're here blocking the road off now. It seems like they're getting the fire out. And again, civilians coming to the rescue, people pulling over in their cars to pull the driver out of that vehicle. And yes, I did speak with them. We're going to stay on the fire, though. We're going to stay on this fire situation just uh, just for now. But um, yes, did speak to the person in that car. It seems like he's doing OK. Thanks to these incredible civilians who pulled over and pulled him out of that car. But this is just a great example of how dangerous these roads are. I mean, take a look at this road. It looks like it would be fine to drive down, right? Traffic is already building up. You can see lots of people driving down this road, Pineville Matthews Road. And yet a little bit of pooled water, it seems, was the culprit of this nearly deadly situation here right this afternoon, you guys. Now, Savannah, unbelievable how quickly they put out that fire because those flames were huge. Now, full disclosure, as we were talking about earlier, we saw that victim to the side on the ground talking. We are not going to show him live on camera right now, but um, I believe you said earlier these good Samaritans jumped in and put a tourniquet on his leg. Uh, can you tell us the condition? Is he okay? Yeah, it just seemed like he's okay. And yeah, like you said, we're not going to, you know, show the victim of this this accident until we know more about what exactly happened. Um, but it does seem like he's okay. He's talking. The civilians who pulled over were keeping him talking. It seems like he has some sort of um, possible leg injury. But again, that tourniquet on there. Medic is here on scene. They're treating him. That is the good news. So again, I mean, this could have been so closely almost a horrible possibly deadly situation but thank god it doesn't seem like that is the case here right now yeah, and what's interesting to note too is that this is a single this appears to be a single vehicle accident so there was no one else involved in this again imagine if there were more people on this road we keep telling people we're going to sound like a broken record that you should stay off these roads because of the conditions uh, but this is a case in point savannah and i think it's also um an, another important thing to bring up we've done these stories before at least i know i have about how important it is to know how to administer a tourniquet in this situation mm -hmm. so from what i'm hearing from you the civilians were the ones who put that tourniquet on this victim to stop his bleeding. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. One guy took his uh, T-shirt off. Another guy took his belt off and they were able to fashion that in a matter of seconds. And again, the response time was really just incredible. Uh, my photographer Trey and I pulled up right after this accident happened. That was maybe a hundred seconds ago wow. and a medic already here treating that victim fire department got here maybe you know less than a minute after that fire started and already have it put out as you can see live on your screen right now yeah, Savannah go ahead I was gonna say I've talked to um, physicians at CMC Maine talking about how uh, a lot of these fatalities that happen with internal injuries or injuries in general really uh, can be the fatalities can be prevented by administering a tourniquet. So that was a huge yeah. uh, move from those civilians who helped on the scene. I remember the story you did on that exactly yeah. how to tie a tourniquet and what you can use as a tourniquet. Savannah, can you give us a, a play by play? I know this happened so quickly, but did those good Samaritans jump out and pull him 
out of his truck. Was he able to walk out of his vehicle unharmed or did he need help from Samaritans getting out of his truck after it crashed? No, he was not able to walk. Wow. They pulled him out of the window of the driver's side. And I did speak with these folks on scene. They said he appeared to be the only person in that vehicle, which is the good news that he's out and being treated by medic right now. But um, yeah, it looks like I'm looking over right now. It looks like he's doing all right. But uh, no, they had to pull him out of this car. It, it was honestly something incredible to see the number of people who immediately jumped out and went right to his aid in this situation that could have easily killed them. I mean, you saw how quickly mm -hmm. this this truck went up in flames. So, I mean, bravo to all of these people standing in the raid still now watching to make sure that this man is transported to the hospital safely.